So Cartronics is the number one worldwide uh, operator of ATMs globally. Uh, we operate some 230,000 across 11 countries. Uh, we're primarily focused in the U.S., Canada, the U.K., and Australia, but also have presence in Spain, Poland, Germany, South Africa, Ireland, New Zealand, and I may be missing a few. We employ over 2,600 employees dedicated to delivering ATM capabilities day in and day out. That's the biggest in the industry. The reason we're here at uh, ATMIA here in the UK is because it's a phenomenal stage uh, for us to interact not only with our uh, business partners and suppliers, but uh, customers alike. Uh, Cartronics actually has a new story to tell this year. We're in the process of evolving our products. And so there's really no better audience uh, to, to bring them in and, and expose it to it. As you look at the, the spectrum of, of banks today, right, you've got your traditional Main Street, High Street banks. Uh, many of them are looking to uh, reduce expenses uh, and, and, and offer service in, in a new way that they've never offered it before. Uh, so with that, we enable what we call uh, convenience or on-demand services. So if they look to say maybe close down some teller lines or even close down a branch, they can quickly take advantage of our distribution in the marketplace so that their customers don't have much further to go for their day in and day out transactions. Similarly, on the direct bank and digital side, you have FIs that don't have that big of a physical presence, but they're looking to grow. But they, doing it in a brick and mortar style manner is not cost effective. So with us, they can leverage our existing infrastructure uh, and whether it's you know, creating their brand experience on our screens or even putting signs on our ATMs, they can very quickly and easily create that, that, that physical distribution. You mentioned there's banks on one side with heavy physical, right? Uh, still developing their digital. And flip side, the, the, the directs have started digital. Now they're trying to figure out physical. I believe ultimately we'll get to this balance place in the, in the middle, if you will, where they'll find the happy medium. The directs are realizing that they, they can only grow so much without that physical. And the reality is, at the end of the day, people need access to cash. Um, and, and that's really the role that we provide. Uh, if you look back historically, uh, our traditional biz business, our bread and butter, if you will, was cash expense. And so in that, in that space, we played in what I would call the digital to physical uh, element, meaning we took digital money that existed in accounts and converted it to physical cash in hand. Now what we're starting to do is play in the other side of the equation, which is physical to digital, allowing customers to put in money and convert it digitally into either deposits, payments, you, you name it. So we're really that intersection between physical and digital, doing the, the two things that, that a phone can't do, uh, spit out cash and take in cash. On ATM for a bank means uh, a, a set of on-demand levers that they can pull to quickly and easily uh, uh, manage their overall ATM and, and, and banking service distribution. Uh, traditionally, banks manage their own ATMs. Uh, it's, it's, it's very costly, it's very complex, and it's growing even more complex as you think about things like cyber and everything else going on in the industry. Um, with, with, with transactions declining overall because of the push to digital, it becomes that much more expensive for the FIs to maintain this huge legacy infrastructure. So that's where our on-demand solutions, our on-product set, if you will, comes into play. Um, banks can easily, like I said, turn on the floor uh, immediate infill in markets where they've recently closed branches. If they're looking to expand into new markets, again, create that infill. Um, and, and, and really invite us into their branches to help them manage their networks in-house. Uh, we can provide services much more cost-effectively than they can, and presumably we can bring in innovation quicker, quicker than they can. The event's been great. Um, very exciting kickoff with uh, NCR and the award to Bill Nudie. Uh, it was an honor to be here uh, and, and really witness that. Uh, uh, our CEO, Steve Rathgaber, gave a phenomenal keynote yesterday. And then really just the overall quality of the presentations between yesterday 
yesterday and today have been uh, enlightening. A good diversity too, right? Uh, everything from the future of cash coming from the Treasury to you know other OEMs expressing their views on the evolution of the business to the FIs themselves. Uh, so it's a it's a great little community here, and uh, you know it's always a bit of people you know, people you recognize, and new faces to meet.